Hey there, I want to talk to you about the 2016 NHL Excel Stats Sprap. I've been working on this for a while now. I'm an avid hockey fan, and uh, you know, the DraftKings and the FanDuel, uh, they are the legal, so I enjoy playing them. They're legal in my state, and uh, it's fun to do, so I've created this Excel application because I'm an Excel guy who's in Excel all day, and it's a big pivot table with colors and fun numbers and games. So take a look at the schedule for Monday night here. Uh, set starts at 7 p.m. There's like seven games on the schedule. This Excel application, what this does is it orders the players. Uh, it's their dr number of DraftKings points per game, except I don't have block shots in there. So the numbers are a little off because I don't have stats for block shots. I haven't been able to get them yet. But I will add them soon as I keep developing this thing. I had fun with this. I, I used it today being, uh, I'm well, I'm recording this on Monday, but I used it on Sunday the 20th to enter a couple tournaments, and I had success with it. I did make some money. And... So what you're seeing here is, well, I had some games that I liked when I, I did my quick analysis of the seven games going on. I like Tampa Bay. I like Columbus. I like Chicago. They're teams that have been winning games and putting up goals recently. And I believe in streaks. As a hockey player myself and an observer, I'm a, I'm a big believer in the streak. If you're playing well, things are going good. The mojo's flowing. I suggest you, you stick with the flow. You, you ride the wave as you will. You put the rally helmet on backwards, which would make you blind. But hey, if you're running good, anything you throw at the net's going to go in. So I'm, I'm starting to highlight some people that I liked when I started looking at these points. The way those color codes work there is if it's green, it's a higher number of points, which is better. Green all the way down to red, yellow is kind of in, <clears throat> in the middle being average. So that's how you get a quick look at the colors and kind of see who's been high. You have a lot of green with somebody, they're doing really good. Uh, Kind of nice to analyze trends of how many, that, that's how many days ago is that number in the uh, in that column bar at the top, kind of, the, the number of days ago the games were for these players. So when you look at just one team at a time, it's nice and, and it shows you who hasn't been playing certain games and who has, who's out, how long they've been out. Um, interesting way to track things. I, I found it very useful just you know, you can kind of see how some people will pop in and they'll have their peaks and their valleys where they'll pop in for a six-point game every once in a while. You can call those guys kind of a sleeper guy who doesn't have a great average point, but when he does have a good night, he gets a couple goals or something. You, you can kind of see it in the way the points lay themselves out. So uh, you can see consistency here. Like Taze has been off recently, um, even though Kane is always really consistent, but Taze has been off recently, apparently, accordingly. Even though he does have a big night in him like he did, uh, whatever that was, 12 or 13 days ago. So, um, as you dig through this, uh, I'm, I'm going to be offering this Excel application. I want to update this thing every day. I want to put lines in here. There's a lot of different things you can do with the data sheet in this file to make this more customized and easier to browse through and look through because I'm starting to get addicted to down this. This is fun. Um, <laughs> this is fun and I think there's some logic to this because hockey is, you know, hockey is a, a game where it's individual and team sport together but there's a lot of team activity and the way you can pick a team on DraftKings, which is what I use, even though I heard DraftKings and FanDuel are merging, so it's going to be one. What is it? Draft Duel. It's not, I hope it's not Fan Kings. Fuck, screw that. That that sounds awful. Um, <laughs> you should just call it ass rape because it's, it's, it's what they're doing with your money. I won money on DraftKings last year. This year I'm down. However, in hockey, I'm not so far down. If I'm down, I might even be up in hockey. I'm not sure. And, and I love hockey. I actually know hockey. I don't know football as well, and I've had no luck with football this year. But, but hockey I know, and so keep an eye on these. I'm going to do these videos daily and dig through every single game and look at every single team uh, because there's an art to putting entries into these tournaments and uh, with, with accurate current information streamed out like this and color-coded, it's really helpful. What did, I do, what did we do with Tampa Bay here, right? Kucherov, is, he seems to be so reliable and a big point guy. I think he was like number one when you look at the uh, total overall of everybody. 
Uh, you know, you don't filter by team. You just show everybody over this last 20 day period. I don't have stats in here from the entire beginning of the year. I didn't pull that all the way, but I pulled, I think, everything starting in November. So this is a Movember SRAP. This is growing a beard of stats on the SRAP. From the, and Kutrov is apparently having the best November, I believe, average points drafting-wise, not including block shots, of course. I don't know if that's going to play into that at all. Oh, Tyler Johnson's been hot. I think I'm going to pick him up. Who else is being highlighted there? Um, as I'm doing this recording after I had, I'm doing the audio secondary after I've already recorded this, but the way I'm viewing this on the screen, it's, it's difficult for me to read who I'm actually highlighting. So I'm going to have to fix that problem for the future. Um, <laughs> so, all right. Can this thing be helpful? I believe I, I've, I'm very happy with this. What am I going to do with this? All right. So I'm going to do one every day. I'm going to add to it and make it better. If you want one in this preliminary stage as I'm developing it, you should email me, ken at kenstalk.com, K-E-N-S-T-A-L-K.com. Email me and I will get you a copy and then what I'm going to do is after I start really doing this, I'm going to start charging a dollar a scrap. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be a dollar for one every day that you want because you can subscribe to this and I can do one every day and it's like seven bucks a week. And it's going to be worth it for you because I'm, I'm not going to give it away for free because I'm going to be putting a lot of effort to it and I don't want to give away all my secrets for free if I'm going to be using these people. So if you want to pay for it uh, after I get it refined and I get goalies in here, I don't have goalies in this thing yet, just have players. But what I'm doing in the video right now is I'm, I'm using the filter for, with the days ago. I'm using that slicer over there on the left, the blue slicer for days ago and I'm I'm kind of cutting it down to just the last week or last three or four games even. And it's really helpful to see who's on a super hot streak right now. He's really riding the wave. And, uh, it, you know, it, it just shows you who's having good weeks. It's, it's a streaky game. That's, that's the whole point of this is to see who's really, really hot and who's playing well. Because who knows, you know, the team can have the flu sometimes and everyone gets sick and it's a mess for the next two weeks. It, it just things go in streaks. You need to watch what's going on right now and how people are playing and the most recent stats are usually the most relevant. And so to be able to look at trends over time while awesome recent stats just by clicking those slicers and getting to see, you know, and open up this information, um, it's super helpful and, and I think you'll like it. So, yeah, shoot me an email at ken at kenstalk.com if you want a copy now and if you want to get on the list as I develop this throughout the season because we've got months and months and months of this and I'm excited to continue working on this and watch this over time and also use it for, you can use this for more than just uh, predicting points at DraftKings. You can use it for seeing health of teams and how they're playing and um and what kind of trends there? It's just it's, it's awesome stuff. So, Ken's talk is out for now. But um, shoot me an email if you want a copy of this Excel file and watch for videos. Hopefully every day I can do one of these because they're, they're really cool. So, I will talk to you later. And go Caps because we, we we need a Cap Stanley Cup. That's what we need. Ken's, Ken's talk's out.